In today's video, I am going to give solutions for third order linear homogeneous recurrence relation and this is related to the discrete mathematics and in today's video, I am going to solve the recurrence relation a n is equal to 6 a n minus 1 minus 12 a n minus 2 plus 8 a n minus 3 where n greater than or equal to 3 with the initial conditions a naught is equal to 1, a1 is equal to 4 and a2 is equal to 28. Therefore, the given recurrence relation is See from the question, the given recurrence relation is a n is equal to 6 a n minus 1 minus 12 n minus 2 plus 8 times of a n minus 3. Now, the characteristic equation can be written as, see here, the characteristic equation. The characteristic equation will be C. This is of third order. So, this will be m cube minus 6m square plus this is 12m and this is, if, if we send to other side, this will be minus 8 is equal to 0. Now, we have to find the factors for this. For finding the factors, see the quotient of m cube is 1. The quotient of m square is 6 minus 6. This is 12. m quotient is 12 and minus 8 is the constant. Now, I am going to check with see here this is 8 2 times so 1 plus 0 this is 1 2 ones are 2 and this is again minus 4 so if I multiply this will be minus 8 this is plus 4 and 2 fours are this is 8 so this is going to become 0 and the next one I am going to check with again 2 see here this is 0 1 2 ones are 2 and this is minus 2 and this is minus 4 and again this is going to become 0 and the next one here is and the next one here is 2 0 1 this is 2 ones are 2 and this value is equal to 0 now the roots are therefore so it can be written as m minus 2 m minus 2 into m minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, the roots are 2 comma 2 comma 2. So, these are equal roots. Therefore, the solution can be written as, therefore, the solution of the recurrence relation, the solution of the, the recurrence relation is a n is equal to, see here, a n is equal to c1 plus c2 n plus c3 n square into this is 2 power n. So, this is the solution. So, we have some initial condition as a naught is equal to 1, a1 is equal to 4 and a2 is equal to 28. See, I am writing here a naught is equal to 1, a1 is equal to 4 and a2 is equal to 28. Now, we have to substitute each and every value here. For that, see here. See, a n is equal to, this is a c1 plus a c2 n plus a c3 n square into this is 2 power n. Now, a naught is equal to 1. See here, look, a naught is equal to 1. So, this is a naught is equal to 1. So, I have to keep n is equal to, put n is equal to 0. So, put n is equal to 0 in this equation. This will become a naught is equal to c1 plus c2 0 plus a c3 0 square into this is 2 power 0. So, what is a naught? So, this value is 1. So, this is a c1. So, I got c1 value as 1. And the next condition here is a1 is equal to 4. See here a1 is equal to 4. So, I have a1 is equal to 4. So, put n is equal to. So, in this equation put n is equal to n is equal to 1 here for a1. So, in this, if I keep a1 is equal to, this is c1 plus c2 1 plus c3. This is again 1 square into, this is 2 power 1. So, what is a1? a1 is nothing but 4. So, 4 is equal to, this is c1 plus c2 plus c3 into 2. So, we have, since c1 is equal to, since c1 is equal to 1, if I substitute the same thing, 4 is equal to this is 1 plus c2 plus c3 into 2. So, if I cancel this for 2 times, see here, 2 is equal to 1 plus c2 plus c3. Therefore, 
C2 plus C3 value is equal to 2 minus 1 and C2 plus C3 value is equal to 1. So, therefore, we got a condition that C2 plus C3 is equal to 1. And the next condition here is, the next condition here is A2 is equal to 28. So, we have A2 value as 28. So, A2 is equal to 28. So, put N is equal to 2 here. So, 2 in this equation. So, in this equation, if we put N is equal to 2, then A2 is equal to, this is C1. If I put N is equal to 2, this will be 2 C2. If I put N is equal to 2, 2 square, this is nothing but 4. 4 C2 into 2 power. So, N is equal to 2. So, this will be 2 square. So, A2 value is C1 plus 2 C2 plus 4 C3 into 4. So, what is A2 here? So, A2 value is 28. 4 times of C1 plus 2 C2 plus 4 C3. So, if I cancel this first 7 times, see here what happens here? 7 is equal to C1 plus 2 C2 plus uh, 4 C3. Since we have C1 is equal to 1. Since we have C1 is equal to 1. See here, C1 is equal to 1. If I substitute the same thing here, 7 is equal to, this is 1 plus 2 if I take common, that is C2 plus 2C3. Uh, so, this will be 6 is equal to 2 times of C2 plus 2C3. So, this will be, if I cancel this, so this is 3 is equal to C2 plus 2C3. So, we got the third equation as a C2 plus uh, 2 C3 value is equal to 3. So, these are the three values. The C1 is equal to 1. Here we got C2 plus C3. So, we got C2 plus C3 value is equal to 1 and again C2 plus 2 C3 value is equal to 3. Now, see here if I cancel, if I subtract this. So, if I subtract this, see what happens? Minus C3 is equal to minus 2. Therefore, C3 is equal to 2. So, we got the value of C3 as 2. So, if I substitute the same thing here, then C, C2 plus 2 times of C3 is equal to 2 is equal to 3. C2 plus 4 is equal to 3. C2 is equal to 3 minus 4. And C2 value is equal to minus 1. Therefore, we got the value of therefore. Therefore, C1 is equal to 1. So, from this C1 is equal to 1. So, from this C2, what is C2 is equal to minus 1 and C3 value is equal to 2. So, we have a general solution. So, we have the general solution An is equal to, I will show you, that is C1 plus C2n plus C3n square into this is 2 power n. So, if I substitute all the values here, then C, An value is equal to, so An value, what is C1? This is 1. What is C2? C2 value is minus 1 into n. What is C3? C3 value is 2 into this is n square into this value is 2 power n. So, this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you follow these steps and see all the values are ready here then and see here a n is equal to 1 minus n plus 2 n square into this is 2 power n. So, this is the solution for the third order linear homogeneous uh, recurrence relation. So, see here first of all the equation is given as this and these are the initial conditions. So, according to the recurrence relation, so this is the equation, the characteristic equation can be written like this and these are the roots. So, the roots are real and equal. So, this is how we have to frame the solution. So, these are the initial conditions a naught is equal to 1, a1 is equal to 4 and a2 is equal to 28. If I put a naught is equal to 1, so we got c1 value as 1. If I put n is equal to 1, a1 is equal to 4. So, c2 plus c3 is equal to 1 we got if we keep the condition a2 is equal to 28. So, that we have to keep n is equal to 2 in this equation. So, we will be getting c2 plus 2 c3 is equal to 3. So, after solving all these three equations, so we got c2 value as 2, C2 value as minus 1, C3 value as 2 and C1 value as 1. So, if I substitute in this general equation, then this will be the solution for the third order 
linear homogeneous recurrence relation thank you so much for watching if you really like this video please pass it on to your friends subscribe to this channel and have a look at my next videos and have uploaded so many solutions for the third order linear homogeneous recurrence relation take practice and thank you so much